Hey guys, I'm LB, and Rector Rocks told me not to play this map when I was tired. So, I am playing this much later in the evening, whereas the- the last- last time Rector Rocks complained about me being tired was, uh, I was playing in the morning. So let's see here. Medium difficulty funnel puzzle. Walkthrough available. Note. Ignore the cube block and the angle panel near the cube dropper. They serve no purpose other than to make sure the cube stays on the button. Well, actually, the angle panel is also there to prevent an unintended solution. Tell me if the cube does not stay on the button when spawned. Alright, well, I think that's that right there that we're talking about, perhaps? Alright, let's 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 just get to the map and see what, what he's talking about. Alright, that's what it's there for. I see. So yeah, like, yeah, random physics. Valves, random physics. Although, really... I guess that must be because it auto-respawns. So that- that to me says... that if it's always supposed to land like that, that we're gonna have to fizzle the cube at some point. Telegraphed attack. I mean, puzzle. Let's see here. Wow, that actually goes right through. Oh, and it stops there. Ha! <laughs> Interesting. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! That was completely accidental. The cube did its little cube hop thing that it likes to do, and it landed with just barely touching the funnel. Absolutely adorable. Seems to be gravitated towards the center of the funnel, which is the wall there. Alright, whatever. I'm way too distracted by that. What does this do? Is this actually respawn the cube? Ah, we have a full puzzle reset button. Because it clears your portals as well. Alright then. Wow, how does that... How does that count? Man, Valve. That is... That is absolutely bizarre. Haha! <laughs> I'm way too distracted by that. Let's see what's up here. Some stairs that lead up to a double layer. Interesting. There's also this. Ooh, why does this have a back wall on it? Hmm. Alright, let's actually- let's actually start using this funnel, perhaps. Maybe. Aha! Alright, let's start off by taking this cube. And we're gonna put it on this button. And that reverses the funnel. So let's move, uh, move that there. Do this. That gets us into the funnel. And then, we do this, which will fizzle the cube. Oh, actually I need to be further back in the funnel for this to work, as intended. So let's just, uh... Let's just restart, shall we? Ha ha ha! Ha! Rectorox, I have a bug report. <laughs> like, how does this not count, but that other position did count? These buttons are so weird, man. Watch this. If I press it... Oh. I thought if I press it, it would stay pressed, but nope. Dude, it actually... The button lifts the cube. Oh, now it counts! You know what, I think it's just checking the vertical height of the cube, like the center of the cube, without even checking any of the physics related to it at all. Probably just checks the coordinates. Lazy, lazy valve. Alright, let's get this cube through this portal and back on this button. Again, I am far too distracted by that button. What have you done to me, Rector Rocks? Let's see, let's go all the way to the back of the funnel this time. And now we can do this. So now that's done that, we can do this. Ta-da! It's like magic. Alright, now, we're up here. Let's go ahead and press this. So the angle panels to prevent an unintended solution, huh? Cause this goes up way before anything can get onto it that way. Well, alright then. Can 
up here we just have some portal services, I believe. Yes, mostly. And the light, I believe, does not go to the button. It's actually this guy here, as I thought at first. And that button does... what exactly? The exit? Ooh, it does the exit, but the thing is that button does the fizzler. So we would have to be on this side and place that portal. Ooh, wait a second. Does this even go that high? Yes, it does. Right, right. Okay. So that means we want the cube on there. Ooh. So we want a portal here, cube there, and we want our body to be on this side of the fizzler. So that we can have this be our last mo wait, but we also have to press the button. Oh no. Oh no, the button. Oh well that's actually not so bad. Well, actually hang on a sec. I think that is bad. Does this timer Actually, let me- let me do this again. Let's see. Does this timer... give us enough time... to go run through here... and do this? Oh yes it does! It definitely gives us enough time to do that. Well that has to be part of the solution then. Cause that's more than enough time for that. That would definitely work. The challenge is going to be getting that cube over here while at the same time keeping our green portal up there. Or alternatively... No, that's- that's pretty much what we have to do. <laughs> And this is where I think. This is where I think very hard, because I'm bad with funnels. get the cube on this side with us, and have a portal still up there. What is this ground level portal for? Like, why- why do we have a double layer portal here? This is perplexing. Perplexing, indeed.
we know what the finishing move looks like. There's no portal surfaces over here. my quick save at? Did I have the funnel? I need to load back to when I had the funnel. Cause I need to test something. Yes, I had the funnel. Alright. I wanna know what this does. What happens if we do this? Exactly what I thought would happen. Oh! Ooh! That's interesting. Of course, that cube is gonna fizzle any second now. That's not gonna bring it to us. Rector? Rector rocks? Was that because I had the funnel, or did that just happen by random chance? I think you might need to hammerize this a little bit there. <laughs> oh boy. Let's 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 see if we can reproduce this situation here. And that's good enough, so let's leave that over there, far and away from this. Let's see if that happens again. Well, it didn't happen this time, but that definitely happened. It happened once. Surely that wouldn't be enough to make it go off course so crazily. Wait, hang on a minute. What happens if we do that? Issue is that doesn't help much. Haha <laughs> Does not help much. Oh I I know what to do. That's exactly what we do, except uh slightly different way of doing things. Wait, no, because... how do we get out now? Haha! <laughs> oh, duh, I just placed my black... yeah, okay. I'm trying to figure out a way to do by placing my green portal, but no, we gotta place the black portal. Alright.
now that we've done that, we go and do this. And this guy, we can just literally- that's what that's for. That's specifically built for tossing cubes. Yeah, there we go. I guess we could also use the funnel to do it, but it's not strictly necessary. So now, we- we make- we make the run for it. There we go. Well guys, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in another video. Goodbye! Don't forget to check out Rectorox channel.